up bugs how are you today i'm good it is wednesday and i wanted to do a special haul for you guys that i have not done in a long time and this is the stitch fix which is kind of funny because i wasn't actually going to do it again for a while anyway and somehow i got charged again so i just decided to go do it so whatever when life throws you lemons what do you do you get a stitch fix. So anyways, I'm going to... The last time I did this was like in February. No, not February. I didn't do it in February. The last time I did this was like in October of last year. And I had a request to... I don't remember. It was to like describe the pieces a little bit better or um, just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do my best to like be a little bit more detailed this one. Or this time around anyway. And yeah. Let's get into it. The only thing that I don't really like about Stitch Fix is that you have to send it back within three days. And I feel like that doesn't give me enough time to decide if I want something. And, you know, if I don't exactly have money in, in the bank for it right then, you know, I'd like to wait a couple days. So, I don't like that part about Stitch Fix. But, it is what it is. So, what did we get in this box this time? Um, okay, we got Veronica Layered Metal Cuff. We got from Zod, is that how it's pronounced? And that is worth $32. Uh, we got a pink pick sleeve from the company pick sleeve, Stevie Jersey V-neck dress. I can't wait to see that. That is worth $74 which stinks because I might really actually like that. We'll see. Uh, a Liverpool Liana bootcut jean um, worth $78, and those are navy. And then we got a black paper moon Violetta scallop detail blouse worth $44. And Lelis Marissa crochet layer knit top for $48 in the color light green. So, this is my bundle. Okay. okay, so the first thing that I am pulling out is the dress. Here's that. And it's just this, like, really cute... I mean, it's a really cute dress, now that I'm holding it up. And it is, indeed, detailed in pink, um, if you can see that. And it's, for some reason, what I thought is that it would be strapless. I don't know, not strapless, but like, um, kind of like the shirt that I'm wearing now. I like a tank, and it's not. Um, so it's just these shoulder sleeves. I don't know what, what length you'd call that. Um, I will try these on, and I'm hoping I'm doing this detailed enough for you guys. I don't know. And it looks like it's just like knee length. So, like we already knew it was a v-neck. And this is just the whole, whole dress. So, I will try that on in just a minute. I will show you guys everything and do as much detailing as I possibly can for you so that you know exactly what I got. So this is the Violetta scalloped detail blouse and what I really like about this is the back silver little button clasp. I think that's so adorable. And this is what this looks like. And it's just, what would you call a sleeve like this? This is basically like a tank or a sleeveless maybe. Um, and the back is super adorable. It's got the scalloped um, back like this. And then the front has also got scalloped layers in it. I can't wait to try this on. Okay, so next is the L Marissa Crochet Layered Knit Top. And what I really like about this is the color is like a minty green. Now it, it said light green on the um, little paper that I read to you guys, but it's more like a mint color and I've been really, really into mint. And this is definitely like a tanky type feel 
but it's a little dressy also, so you could probably wear this under a, um, like a business coat, like for a suit or something, and it would be really awesome for like a professional job or whatever, so that is super adorable, and I really love the, the overlay on this, it's a really nice pattern, so I... I'm not a fashion guru in any way, shape, or form. I can barely find my way through a shirt half the time. So <laughs> don't, uh, you know, like me trying to detail these um, outfit looks for you is horrendous. Horrendous. It's so hard for me to be able to explain to you guys what's what and everything. I'm definitely not like up on the whole fashion thing, you know zip about fashion so that's why it's so hard for me to give you guys a detailed description of what's what because it's a little hard I know that it's hard to see exactly what an outfit looks like on camera when I'm just holding it up and it's a little bit easier on um on someone's body to see what something looks like but yeah if you guys are looking for me to know what like every single fashion piece is called you're looking at the wrong person because I have no idea. Okay, then the last piece of clothing is these jeans. And this is the... This is the Liverpool Liana bootcut jean. And I love bootcut style jeans. I used to like really love flares, but bootcuts are definitely, I think, a little bit more um, appealing for your body. So these look like they would be super comfortable. Okay, and so the last thing that we are going to try on, or that we're going to show you guys, is the Silver Cuff. Um, this is from Zod, I believe. And this is a Veronica Laird Metal Cuff. And I really love this fashion piece. This is just super, this is amazing. This is beautiful. I love this. And I don't normally like bracelets like this, but I just think that this is really pretty. I don't know what it is about this particular bracelet, but this is beautiful. This would be so nice to wear with, you know, a lot of the pieces that they picked out. You know, it would look good with the, the light green top, um, and it would also look good with the, the blouse. I think it's a little dressy for that v-neck dress, um, but it would even look good with the... Um, the bootcut jeans because you can dress those up or dress those down so depending on what you do this would look really good with those too so but yeah I think it's a kind of dressy for the dress but I could be wrong um like I said I'm not a fashion guru so I'm going to try to do my best to model the clothes for you and yeah uh, let's get to it okay guys so this is the first dress and I feel like it kind of looks like a moo moo on me, a little bit anyway. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Just ignore my background. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't love it on me, but it is not as bad as I thought it would. Um, Again, I just feel like it kind of looks like a moo-moo on me. I think it's just this middle part here, which dresses tend to do to me a lot, where um, some clothes can, like, make you look flatter. The dresses like this tend to make me look like I'm pregnant. And, yeah, it is above knee, which is a little bit uh, shorter than I thought it was. So, But it's a cute length. I like the length of it. And it's just a nice little summery dress. Um, and this would be cute on like a date or um, you could probably wear this to church or something. Um, I wouldn't really call it something professional. It doesn't really look like a professional outfit to me. But yeah, that is that outfit. Okay, guys, so this is that, um, what was that called? Hold on. I can tell you. This is the Violetta Scallop 
detail blouse. And I was trying to fix it and the back broke. So I'll have to show you guys that in a minute. Um, that little clasp that I love so much. Yeah, doesn't hold well. The shirt is a little too tight on me. Um, which makes me really sad because this is potentially a really cute shirt. And this isn't an extra large, but I think that it runs a little bit smaller. Um, because most of my extra larges fit. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just the shirt. But, anyways, these are the blue jeans, or the navy boot cut jeans, I should say. They're a little bit long on me. So, yeah, so far, batting zero. Okay, this will just give you a better idea of the jeans and what they actually look like. So, not too bad. I do like the jeans. They could be hemmed, um, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, the shirt is just a no-go and it broke. So, hopefully I don't get charged for that. Alright, here is the last and final shirt, which is kind of hard to see with the lighting that I have going on right now. But I did put the bracelet on and... I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm going to have anything from this box. I am not too fond of how anything looks on me at all. Um, so yeah, there's that. The I will show you guys the problem that I have with this shirt. Um, first of all, this isn't really a shirt that you can wear with a bra unless I was to wear a strapless bra. I would most definitely have to wear a strapless bra with this uh, because look how saggy it looks with my chest in the shirt and which is fine I don't mind wearing a strapless bra that's not my problem it just doesn't I don't know it just doesn't hold me up the correct way I don't think I might try it on with a strapless bra in a minute though and we'll see if that's any better but yeah and it doesn't cover my belly which neither did the other shirt which granted yes I still need to lose weight I'm not saying I'm perfect and that I've lost like so much weight or anything but I don't I don't know this doesn't doesn't flatter my body whatsoever. Okay, you guys can see the shirt, the way it looks a little bit better in this mirror here. Um, it looks good, like, from the front, except I do need a bra. But um, from the side, I'm not really digging it and how it looks. So all this, like, back fat and everything that hangs out just not digging it but yeah I don't even think that I'm going to keep the bracelet um even though I really love it I don't know maybe I'll change my mind hi guys so not an altogether positive stitch fix box this month um I do know part of it and I know excuses 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 I know um but yeah I'm going to use every excuse I can um I haven't lost all the weight that I wanted, so that's part of it. The other part of it is I am bloated. Dot is here. Sorry if that's TMI, um, but it is what it is. Um, so there's that. And, yeah, that's that's really all the excuses I have. Um, but also I think that they were just a little bit too small for me. I still need to work on losing weight. And um, I'm kind of worried about that one shirt. It broke when I was trying trying it on. Um, so I'm kind of worried about what they do with that type of situation. Um, I hope it's not a like you break it, you bought it type of thing because I won't be very happy about that. Um, I do need to look at their policy for that. So, anyways, guys, that is what I have for you on the whole Stitch Fix thing. Um, I really wanted to like this month. I was really excited to get the box again, even though I didn't intend to do it this month. It was kind of like a freaky thing, a freak freak accident type thing. I don't know, whatever. Um, it's really hard to cancel a Stitch Fix account, by the way. Uh, they let you move your um, boxes. You know, if you don't want to do it every month, you can schedule it for another time or whatever so uh, I do want to try it again I think it's I love 
having it just to have something to do videos about even. Um, but when I do lose a lot of weight, it'll be fun to try things like that on. It's still not too fun trying stuff on for me right now. Um, I was going to try that one shirt again with a bra and then I just decided it's, it's not going to cover me no matter what I do. It doesn't cover me all the way. And as much as I want to like that shirt, it's just not going to happen. So those are my thoughts on this month's stitch fix and I hope that I can do this again next month for you guys so that we can um, maybe have better luck. Uh, I may have to go change some sizes. But yeah, if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully these were a little bit more detailed for you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not a fashion guru and I don't really know how to describe things the way other people do. I would love it if I did, but I don't. So hopefully that was detailed enough for you. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up and leave me some love. I would love to hear from you. Um and get to know you please become part of my love bug family and yeah please feel free to add me on snapchat instagram twitter um and i don't know about stinky old facebook but yeah that's what's going on i love you guys so 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 much and here's to wishing you infinite love Mwah. bye